Okay, so what's your name? Um, My name is Jose Saitel, and I'm a member of the Board of Directors of San Francisco Pride. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming here because I was one of the votes that was um, definitely against Facebook marching in our parade. Um, and why is that? Well, you know, some people were arguing like, oh, that's spiteful. What about the employees who, you know, are LGBT and Facebook? But it's like, they could, do they could contribute to society by actually marching with something that isn't their occupation. There's tons of us out here who don't identify with our own occupation. Um, but I mean, why shouldn't Facebook be marching? Well, why shouldn't be? Um, well, I think the, the they do a really great job when it comes to LGBT um, representation, having a gender queer as a way to identify yourself. But this one issue is the one they won't budge on because it's, it's worth billions of dollars for them because an authentic name that you can attach to a credit card or a magazine subscription is so much is worth much more money as user data to advertisers than it is um, a non-authentic or what they view as a non-authentic name mm -hmm. something you can't sell it's not connected to a credit card and I know uh, specifically because I I've witnessed a friend transition it's one thing to have trans friends but to witness somebody going through the process, it's a very vulnerable state, and you're constantly being questioned on what's authentically you or not just by walking out the door. And because of that, it can be a very sensitive issue with body body dysphoria. And then to have the monopoly that is Facebook of social media and connection where people reach out to feel community, which is, I'm very grateful for what Facebook does. Um, you know, it's a love-hate relationship with them, but but to have them go and question you and be like, is this your authentic name? I mean, my brother himself is having issues with the, um, with his own identity, having it being shut down and having his his uh, career Facebook actually get pulled away from him because his career Facebook is under a different identity. Um, people I know who, it's interesting because they talk about domestic abuse survivors being one of the people who benefit from this policy because it prevents them from being um, harassed by it, it holds people accountable but it's actually au contraire because I'm having all these people who are domestic abuse survivors say that they need a different name in order to reach out to their family or whatever because when you're in a domestic um, I mean, sorry, when you're in an abusive relationship, they definitely have like a stranglehold on you and your community and they isolate you. So, what it seems to be is that Facebook is just not wanting to play ball and wanting to throw lip service. I mean, they just don't want to budge on their policy because it's worth billions of dollars. And, and they do have a monopoly and they've done things to acquire this monopoly. That's why it's so hard for Allo to get traction. Um, What's Allo? Allo is a bus we're riding on. It's um, it's e www.ello.co, and it's um, trying to be a creative user space for social media, connecting people, and also being independent of advertisers, so that your your information is not being sold as user data. Um, so it's sort of like an alternative. Yeah, to and during the the. Um, the peak of this this uh, debate, which was like last year, um, I like I think we're going to another second peak now. So during the first peak, um, they they created that and they were trying to offer that and gain traction because of it. And then if you look, I'm not sure if you really got a shot of the buses. It says right there, it's rainbow flags. Which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, it says no real name required. Mm -hmm. It would have been really cute if it was a trans flag. <laughs> awesome. Anything else you want to add? Um, no, other than the fact that I'm here as an individual today. Um, because, you know, on the Pride board, I have to stand with the board um, on our decisions, even if I vote against them. And here, I actually I can be myself. I can be. I mean, there are Jose Espejosita and um, represent my own views uh, separate from the Pride Board. And I really wish, I really wish we took more of a stand. But I will say, the Pride Board's intention was to keep a conversation going because they were under the impression that since the people here didn't want to 
continue the conversation with Facebook. Um, nothing was going to get done, and they thought it was their onus to take it upon themselves. But I significantly disagree. I think that people here are just disillusioned with Facebook, and they know what to expect from them. And we're being naive and optimistic by trying to maintain this conversation and accept the sponsorship. And it's just, you know, what kind of sponsorship did uh, Facebook give to Pride? Is that uh, public information or is it? Um, no, you mean like the actual money? How much money did no, they give? No, I can't reveal that. Okay, I didn't know if it's public record or not. Yeah, it's not. And I have people ask me about that. And I was at first, when people first started asking me, I was kind of like in a tiff because I could see why it would matter. But at the same time, it's like it doesn't. Like, it doesn't matter because there's, it's still it's still selling out. Yeah. You know, Whether you're selling out for five dollars or five million, it doesn't exactly. matter. Exactly. All right. Five million would be nice. Thanks, Jose. No problem. <laughs>